Welcome to Mini Motor Maniacs Arena in Tehran. To get in the race, all you need is a couple of hundred bucks to buy one of these beauties, a competitive spirit, and fuel to fire their engines. But that's not enough. With them, you don't even survive the qualifiers. To end being a winner, you need to have some special tweaking skills up your sleeves. There are people who can barely get the ties off, and there are those who aren't scared to take every single screw out of them and put them back together. I myself have a buggy, and I know it's not an easy task to take care of these sorts of cars, but it's all worth the trouble. I like the feeling it gives me on the track. We've been getting ready for this day for almost a month. Our team had to check every single tiny unit in the car. A nicely prepared off-road track, tune cars, and a fair number of spectators. That means everything is set for these guys to show what they've got. And here we go. Nitro RC buggies test their might here with their top speed of more than 70 kilometers per hour. Quite a spectacle. Thanks, now I got dirt in my eyes. This much agility and speed means as a driver, you take your eyes off these noisy boys for one second and they will be off the track flipping in here. And trust me, as a driver, you don't want that to happen. Buggies are not the only thing we're going to see here. Time for a bit bigger boys to come in. Nitro RC trucks. Ready, set. Go! Go! No? Okay. RC car racing has a lot of enthusiasts in Iran. The competitors have access to all the latest cars, equipment, and every other hardware needed, but the racing standards are yet to improve to become world class. By the way, it doesn't mean these races don't give you the nice feeling of adrenaline rush in your body. I'm Jaboni, reporting for Press TV in Iran's capital, Tehran.